Alexander Yusik has totally outboxed, outskilled, and outclassed basically everyone that he's fought. How does he do it? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm professional boxer Junior Far. Today I thought that we'll dive deep into the mind of Alexander Yusik and what makes him great. We can all agree that Usyk is a terrific boxer. And when we mention Alexander Usyk, the first thing that comes into mind has got to be his movement, his terrific footwork. He stays true to that saying, your hands can't hit what your eyes can't see. The man is a moving target, continually moving throughout the rounds, making it hard for any man to pin him down and land a decent blow on him. It's just not gonna happen. His legs have got him out of most tricky situations that he's ever been in. One fight that I really want you guys to watch and probably that everyone has seen already is the fight that he had with my old teammate Joe Joyce. This was back in 2013 when he and I were both fighting in the WSB, the World Series Boxing, where amateur boxers would fight in a professional style league, fight different countries as a team. And me and Joe Joyce were in the same team, the Great Britain Lionhearts I believe they were called. And this night, Joe Joyce was faced off to fight Alexander Usyk. Keep in mind that at this stage, Joe Joyce was inexperienced. Very, very inexperienced. I believe he hadn't even represented his country in an international tournament yet. That's how new Joe Joyce was. Him being that new and then being chosen to go and face Alexander Usyk, the 2012 Olympic game gold medalist. Yeah. So that fight gets on its way, and you see Joe Joyce take full advantage of all of his advantages. His height, his reach, his durability, and his crazy engine. You know, the man is a diesel engine and can just keep going and put a pace on you and just try and outlast you. Now, he put all of this onto Usyk, and Usyk and his legs got him out of every situation that was put on him. Watch that fight. It's a great fight. You see the importance of Usyk's legs and how they're able to get him inside a range where he can land his shots and then out and then out of range and back into moving around again. Another thing that makes him incredibly good is his incredible timing and accuracy. Now, when I fought Usyk back in 2013, I remember walking back into the changing room after I lost the fight thinking, he doesn't hit that hard. I think he sacrificed power for speed. That's what I think, and that's what I actually believe, is that he sacrifices power for speed. For those who know how to punch, for those who know all of the mechanics that are involved to making a punch hard, turning your hip, turning your shoulder, turning your knuckles, when you watch Usyk, he doesn't really do that. He doesn't sit on his shots. He doesn't twist over the knuckles. Well, he probably does every now and then, but throughout the fight, how he gets his points, most of them are just all arm shots. And I believe that he's willing to do that to make sure that he scores that point and that he touches you up because eventually you're going to get tired of getting touched up and then you're going to start getting exhausted. I believe that's part of his game plan, but guarantee Usyk knows how to punch hard. I just believe he chooses not to punch hard and to just go for the arm shots because you see him towards the end of the fights where he gets the opponent tired and then he lets go on the opponent. What you see from Usyk is just a lot of arm shots. It's ugly, it's not correct if you want to punch hard, but it's damn bloody effective. And so I say this and yet he rocks Anthony Joshua in the third round of the fight. How does he do that? Precision, accuracy, landing the shot before Anthony Joshua even registered what was going on. Faints. Whoa. Boy. I remember my fight with him thinking in the first round when I was walking back to my corner after the first round. Damn. I was, my mind was scrambled. I had no idea when he was going to punch me because everything looked the same. He was fainting me up top. He was fainting me down bottom. He was just boom, boom, boom. Like, uh, uh, like... Like, my mind was gone. I had no clue what was going on. It got me into a defensive state, and so I was easy to hit throughout that fight. And that makes him dangerous, because Usyk is able to keep this up throughout the whole fight. 
He scrambles your mind, he gets you into a defensive state, he keeps your mind occupied, always thinking, crap, when's he gonna go? When's he gonna go? And then sooner or later, you're just gonna be overthinking, and then he's gonna be landing shots, and then the fight's over. And now with all of these technical abilities being said, what really ties them together is this one thing, and that's fitness. His fitness to be able to do this is great, but it's just, but it's not fitness alone. It's not like a fit man can do what he is doing. Guarantee if you and I got into a bag right now and we both start punching, you will be the first to quit. Depending on who's watching this. <laughs> but you will be the first to quit. Why? Because your punching muscles are not used to this action. Your punching muscles are not used to this. Mine are. If I were to go for a run was someone who was a runner and we went on a 15k run and we finished the run I'm gonna have sore legs, I'm gonna need two days off you'll be fine, why? because your legs are conditioned for that run mine aren't what I'm trying to say here is that with Usyk's crazy style and his crazy pace and his crazy fence that he keeps up throughout the whole fight his body has been conditioned that way because he's been training that way for so long Guarantee if we try to fight how he fights in the first round, guarantee that our heart rates will be through the roof and we'll be knackered. He is able to do this because of years and years and years of doing the same thing over and over and over and over. His body is used to it. That's what makes him so hard to beat. He has, he puts on a pace that is unmatched and he grinds you down. With all of this being said, who was the one to take him out? Which heavyweight will be the one to take him out? Will it be Joshua in the rematch? Or will it be another heavyweight? Who do you guys think?